Tom, I have been so eager to meet you because I am, Thank you. I am really excited about this show. Well, excited, you know, is kind of an overworked word in this town, but those of us who have been signed on for this Tomorrow Project so far are very, very enthused about it. Let me put it that way. There are not many chances left in our industry to be a television pioneer. And nobody's ever been on at 1 o'clock in the morning. We're kind of anxious to see how that's going to work out. Yes, I know what's going to happen. You I, do? I'm I, maybe going... we'll sign you because we haven't got the <laughs> funniest idea. I mean, as far as a viewer, because I am going to be, you know, a little bit sleepier mornings when I go in for that 8 o'clock call, 8.30 Somebody call. said, gee, you know, people will go to sleep during your program. I said, listen, there are lots of shows on at 9 o'clock at night. I fall asleep on right now, so it won't make that much difference. Now, there will, in spite of everything, you, you're going to get compared with The Tonight Show, aren't you, in spite I'm of certain everything. that we probably will, in yeah. spite of everything, and uh, it really is an unfair comparison because we are going to be totally different. I, I hope that we will, in fact, I know that we will complement John Carson's program rather than compete with it. We are not going to do monologues. We aren't going to tell great funny stories. We aren't going to have the NBC orchestra with Doc Severinsen. We aren't going to have an Ed McMahon there. Or we aren't going to have a desk and a couch with glittering personalities from the world of show business night after night, as John Carson does. So even though the comparisons might be made before we go on the air, I know that after we get on, the comparison will stop. What will the physical setup be? Do you know, Tom? Oh, I haven't got the foggiest idea. We are just now getting underway. We got our air date here a couple of weeks ago. And uh, we have a number of sketches in for set design or physical setup, but nothing has been firmed up yet. Is there any suggestion that you'd make if somebody had asked you? Oh, not really. Except maybe we'll stand up from time to time, because on every television program, including this one, we're <laughs> sitting down. Maybe it'd be nice to see people walking around. Uh, people do walk around in advocacy conversation or in uh, confrontational conversation, and maybe we'll do some of that. But as I say, it really is awfully early yet. We've got a couple of, uh, of possible designs for set in, but no, no definite decision has been made yet. Mm -hmm. Now, is the producer the same man who used to work on the Johnny Carson show? That is correct. Yeah. Mr. Rudy Tellez is the producer of the program. Uh, Rudy worked with Mr. Carson for, oh, I think it was uh, five years back in the 60s. Uh, and uh, uh, I am certain that Rudy will bend every effort to make sure that our program complements again rather than competes with The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea of any of the guests yet, Tom? How can I tell you who's going to be on the front page of the New York Times or the Dallas Morning News that day? There's just yeah. no way I can tell you uh, who the first one will be because we are going to try and be topical, we're going to try and be current, and uh, we're still a couple of months down the road as you and I sit here doing this interview, and I just can't tell you who number one is going to be. Uh -huh. Is there somebody, now let's just say, if, if it were going to you know, start... <laughs> I know where you're going with this, and I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but uh, you've been a broadcaster for quite a few years 17 now. or 18 years now. Yes. Yep. And I have been doing this show, Tom, for 13. Are Congratulations. You are you superstitious? Not at all. Not <laughs> I'm at not all. Either. I'm not either, but I'll be so glad when it's 14. But no, uh, who are some of the, the memorable interviews that you've had? Oh, well, listen, I could, I could uh, name people here that, that you have never heard of. Uh, I did a program once back in Pennsylvania with a man named Rabbi Earl Grohlman. Say, who? Who is Rabbi Earl Grohlman? He wrote a book called Explaining Death to Children, which sounds on first blush like one of the most morbid programs you could possibly do on television. You have no idea how memorable this is in my mind, just this man getting into the concept of death, which after all is none of us are getting out of this world alive. And it was a memorable program for me. Uh, the, the first television program we did with a man named Haim Ganat, who was a child oh, yes. psychologist who went on to everlasting fame on the network. Well, we had him on the air long before the NBC people and the Today Show knew who he was. That was a memorable program. Uh, I've, I've enjoyed the programs that I've done with people that you've never even heard of. And these are the people I hope we can put on the air. Uh, we've all heard uh, uh, George Burns and, uh, and, and Danny Thomas and, and Bob Hope. And this takes nothing away from these gentlemen. But uh, I hope we can put on people that have not had a chance to give their say on the, on the tube, as it were because there are a lot of folks out there who are extremely bright, extremely intelligent, have something to say, and for want of uh, commercial pressures have not had a chance to have their say. Those are the people we're going to put on. Tom, you know, I've heard the Tonight Show people say that if they have an author, let's say, coming on um, with a kind of serious subject, they'll always put him on at the very tail end of the show. Mm -hmm. uh, now, will you have to keep this in mind where you're going to put people at 
one o'clock in the morning? I really don't think so. Uh, as, as I understand the concept of the program so far, the interview situation will be as you and I are talking now one-on-one. -on -one. We will not have a, a lineup of guests who fill up a couch. Uh, there will be some evenings when we have more than one guest, but again, they will appear singly in a one-on-one -on -one situation with myself. And uh, I just don't see any problem there in, uh, in, uh, in scheduling or in placement of guests. Uh, I, I would think that anybody we put on, uh, whether he or she comes on at the top of the program or at the bottom, will be of equal importance. Naturally, we will try and structure the program to maintain interest in some sort of chronology, but we will not bury anybody for the sake of burying, uh, nor will we uh, put somebody up at the top just for the sake of getting a quick zinger off the top. We like to think everybody that we put on will be important enough to, 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 to merit being put on. Tom, thank you very much. I'm oh, you're very sure welcome. Thank you. I'm going to look forward to seeing so you So am I. Tomorrow. I hope you will, too. Thank you.